Hello everyone. It is finally time for the redo of this weapon guide of sorts. Well, that's a good start anyways. <laughs> so, this is basically just the weapon guide. Done it before. Made an absolute balls of it. So, here's attempt number two. First thing I'll say about this is that these weapons are going to be on, in order of the list in the sort of menu thingy, my jiggy, my baba, my jig. And I have a, I have all of them here so I know which goes when. Just bring up, there we go. Okay, as you can probably guess, shot is our first weapon. Shot, you just fire at an enemy and it hits. Just like this. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. A slightly bigger shot. A slightly bigger again shot. And he's coming up here for this one. You'll never guess what this is. I know it surprised me too, but guys, it's an even bigger shot. Ho ho ho. Now that just blew me away. Okay, next one is Tree Ball. Now let's find it. Because the genius of a dev decided not to put these in any particular order that I know of, anyways. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. One thing I'll point out as well to start I am recording playing this on a pretty crappy laptop, so that is my excuse for lag. In game, out of game, all of that. Hopefully this time the voice will be a lot better than it was for the original. Okay, anyways, back to the main purpose of this. Tree ball. Best way to use this is in an, sort of an angle like this. You fire and then all three hit. Simple as that. Somewhere close to a 45 degree angle is best. Same with five ball. Eleven ball, I would bring it down a small bit. Towards the, what is it, 35 degree-ish angle. As for 25 ball, it's going to be a pretty amazing feat to get all of these to hit. <clears throat> At a range, again... More at a 35 degree than the other one, but for the best damage, I think the best thing you can do is pretty close to them. Like, there you go. That failed slightly, but it also digs them pretty well. Okay, next one on the list, thankfully he's in a hole, is One Bounce. And One Bounce is more than likely going to be all the way over to this side of the list. Tune in next week for One Bounce. <laughs> but yeah, it's a bit ridiculous that the weapons just won't go in order. Like, I can't see it being that hard to code. Like, myself, I've done a bit of programming and... I mean, when you're making each of these weapons... I presume that they all have their own... Oh gee, it's been a while since I did programming. And by a while I only mean a few months, which is kind of embarrassing. Ah, da 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 da. But yeah, you give each individual weapon its own number. And then you can just order those numbers. Whatever way. Okay, I'm an idiot. I just realized I'm supposed to be looking for 7 bounce because this goes to the highest level that you have unlocked. It's also purple. It should not be too hard to see. There we go. That's embarrassing. I, I even looked at Shank as it went by. Okay. 1 bounce. Best thing you can do is in a hole, like this bucko here. And you just fire. 
while he's in the hole, and boom! Tree bounce! Tree bounces! Would you know? Or what would you. Ah, you know. I can't English good today. <laughs> five bounce! Bounces five times! You know what? I'm gonna put a bit of effort into this. Well, a bit more effort, and I'm gonna make it hit, so. As you can see, the general gist of the damage these weapons do. Because, I guess that would be helpful. That's originally 60, by the way. Anytime it's crit, half the damage, and that's what you actually get. 7 bounce, as the name suggests, it bounces 7 times. You know, wouldn't have believed it myself, but... Well, here we are. <laughs> Okay, on to the next one, which is Digger. You would think that by now I would know where what weapon is in this. Oh, there we go. So it would be a lot easier than I'm making it out to be. Oh, by the way, if you just spam click on one of these, it makes the colors go all glowy. Heh. <laughs> Okay, Digger, at this stage, the vast majority of you would know how to use at least the basic weapons, but I'm going over them all because I want to. But yeah, basically you just fire this like shot, hit the person, and as it says, it digs! <laughs> Mega Digger, same thing, except bigger, one less bounce, but a bit more damage. A fair bit more damage. <laughs> okay, excavation is completely different. To an extent. This, you're going to want to fire at about 45 degrees. And it should land most, if not all of them, on this guy. And this is kind of really luck based because sometimes it can do so much better than the next weapon. Sometimes it can do a lot worse. But anyways, next one, grenade. Found that one pretty lively. Grenade is... well, it's a grenade. Can't explain it too much more than that. <laughs> Again, tip with this one, it bounces around a fair bit, so in a hole. Do, 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 do. Okay, Trinade again in a hole. So, based on these two, as you probably guess, multi nade in a hole. <laughs> I bet you'll never guess what I'm going to recommend for Grenade Storm. You see, this is both kind of perfect but that little ledge could end up messing it up my tip for this is not in a hole but in a slightly bigger hole than your average hole see grenade nearly got caught there but yeah the wee grenades do eight the big one does fitty and yes on to the next one stream Stream, stream, stream. Where do I even begin with this? Okay, first thing I want to point out to everyone. Specifically, Shellshock Live 1 and 2 players. This does not go in a straight line. So doing this is kind of a stupid idea. I've seen so many people do it and it kind of annoys the hell out of me. What you want to do is angle these weapons when you shoot them. Not much of an angle for stream, but Creek, you're going to want to go for the 45 degree angle. And that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> well, 
River is in or around the same. Except it has more of a kick at the end of it. As for Tsunami, it works exactly the same as Shell Shock Live 2. You just aim straight at the person and blah, 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 blah. It would be cool if that made water noises rather than explosion noises. Okay. On to the next one, which is the complete opposite. We had water, now we're gonna have fire. We may have fire. Ka will my fire. By the way, anyone who has not noticed, I am kind of Irish. So I may speak Irish, I may sound Irish, I may use Irish phrases. Just expect the unexpected. And you'll be grand. There we go, I see the flame. Flame on. Oh, I hate the way it's so slow on this laptop. Okay, contrary to stream with flame, it is the exact same as Shell Shock Live 2, where you aim at your angle. I'm going to say a smaller angle. Oh, I missed it. At a smaller angle again, maybe somewhere between 30, 35 degrees, even less if you want. Maybe not too much less. But again, I see so many people doing this. And I just want to give them a high five to the face. No other way about it. Okay, blaze, 45 degree, and you're good. Well... I did it again. I'm gonna move down a bit. <laughs> oh sweet merciful Jesus. Okay, Inferno exactly like Blaze. You just 45 degree angle and you're doing it grand. And yes, one, twos, and threes. How fluffily creative. Okay, next we have the roller. The roller, 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 roller. There we go. Didn't even have to move it, but stupid me. Okay, the roller does exactly what it says in the tin. It rolls. And it hits a person. A heavy roller is slightly bigger. And it hits a person harder. A growler. If anyone doesn't get the combination of words, it's a cross between roller and grow. Because this shot grows as it goes. And yet the highest it does is 48 without a crit, 96 with a crit, 192 with a crit, and an X2 at full power. Although I can't do math good, so you never know. Next weapon is going to be its brother, which is the back roller. Knew I saw somewhere here. Do 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 do. I shot a prop back. I probably should have taken a few pictures of the 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 the, 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 the weapon layout in the thingy firing range, so I knew or had a general idea of where I'd be going rather than just freewheeling it, for lack of a better term. But yeah, not much I can say about. The growler, back growler, the exact same. There is two things I will say though that I kind of forgot to say about the growler. But first of all, whenever you shoot it at a bumper that bounces it back, it changes the direction of the spin. And also, for all of those people who think that 
the enemy is invincible when they're in those round bumpers that land on the ground. Rollers and growlers and a few other weapons that I will show you can hit people through those bumpers as long as you hit as long as you reach the bumper pretty early in the rollers roll and the growlers growl. <laughs> okay. Splitter Splitter is I like it. I like splitter. Splitter's good. Now, where do we find it? And how long will it take us to find it? Any time today. After all this lefty words, it's going to be towards the right, isn't it? I see breaker, but there we go, there's splitter. And mental note breakers up here. Come back. Oops. Right, splitter. Yes, it does exactly what you think. It splits. So the best way to do this is to aim at, I'm going to say about 45 to 50 degree angle. You use it and it should split and hit the person like that. This is more of a close range weapon, surprisingly enough. But with double splitter and this one, super splitter, the damage that is done increases if you're further away from the person. For example, there were eight. Now if I use it while he's over here, they would have been tens. And splitter chain, it doesn't matter how close or how far you are, it's going to do the same damage. And this one, you want to aim a bit higher rather than far. And it splits in chain-wise. Just to have a look at it this way as well. I've never done that. Well, never done that in game. On this game, that's the one. <laughs> Okay, next one we have is, yes, Breaker. Breaker is kind of like Splitter, except the opposite. Where it breaks as soon as it hits the ground. Awesome, you noob. <laughs> the double Breaker, it breaks into four pieces. Super Breaker, it breaks into many pieces. And actually, the best way to use this is if you have this buckle here up on the edge. You use your brr Super Breaker here. And yeah, kind of was a bad example that time, but whatever. Breaker Chain. The best way I think to use this is when you're close to a bumper. Because, oh Jesus. Be <laughs> I don't even want to talk after that one. But yeah. It will break and it will hit the bumper and bounce back out and you'll get multiple hits. Also, at this a slight breaking point to find the next weapon, I will put off find the next weapon. <laughs> okay, I apologize about the sound. I am currently out in a bit of a shed recording this on a laptop. So, I've no mic or anything because the wolf headset I had is broke. And yeah, the next weapon, anyways, is Twinkler. And Twinkler is, I'm just going to call these shot based weapons because you use them just like shot, where you shoot right at the person. And this damage split, and these are 579. Uh, yeah. 
as you can see, the nine or the, the blast. That's the one. The blast of each of them is more spread out when the damage is. I was gonna say dearer. When the damage is more significant, so stuff does things. <laughs> Oh, that is very, very descriptive, me. But yeah, it has to be spread out. Spread up. <clears throat> spread out. God, I can't do the England good today. <laughs> has to be spread out so it's fair and not extraordinarily overpowered. I've been having really bad luck with Arrow. That's why there's very little on it. I got it four times and kind of missed three of them. Okay, next one is Sniper. Sniper is one of... Uh, I think it's only two precision weapons. I could be wrong. Guess we'll find out. But yeah. You hit them from... Oh, yeah. Ah, retake. You hit them from far away and it does damage. It does up to 100. There we go. And I say up to 100 because it is range based. Sub Sniper does 120. And Smart Snipe, it does 100, but it's a lot easier to hit because you have the red things. Okay, a note here. When I say it's distance based, I mean on the X axis. No, the what? Yeah, yeah, the X. The X axis being this way. That means if I shoot this at him, it gets 100. If I shoot him here, it gets. Ooh, I'm going to say 53. Oh, so close. But yes, that will always do 54. It doesn't matter if you decide to do this. I've probably made a mess of this now. Damn you, crit. <laughs> that would have been 54. So, it's only on x-axis that any distance-based weapon is based on. Okay. The next one is a fun wee one. There you are, Mr. Cactus. Cactus is a bit tricky for people. The way you want to aim with this is aim as if the person was about here. Of course it varies on distance as well. And about three quarters away it'll split. And there you go. Tens. Cactus Strike then is actually the first of our airstrike ones, or as I'm going to call them for this, flare based weapons, because you shoot it and there's a flare. But yeah, four cacti explode in the air and do stuff. For those who think it's random, there are four of the smaller ones that go straight down so as long as you get it in the ballpark here you're guaranteed at least one hit in theory you're guaranteed at least one hit <laughs> okay next one is one of the most disappointing underwhelming kinda just bad weapons of the game It was a pain to level because I hated it so much. And it is Bulger. Okay. Bulger is, again, a shot aimed one. Where you shoot at the person and it bulges up the land. And Big Bulger, as the name suggests, is big. And you get a questionably shaped not crater. Mountain. That's the one. Mountain. Questionably shaped mountain. 
Next one is Sinkhole. I am afraid uh, that I may have missed one or two weapons. So if I do, I do apologize. But I think we're good. Sinkhole, anyways, best thing you can do is hit the person with it. And it sinks the person. And uh, there's not, really not much else to that. Area Strike is kind of random damage. Where most likely it's probably better to just hit the person with it. And yeah. Kind of luck based of where the explosions are. Okay, next we have the rapid fire. Cohill more rapid fire. On the on show. I swear there should be just some sort of a mini game to play while this thing is scrolling to the right. So, how is everyone this fine day? I myself have been having just one be Jesus of a day for lack of a better way to describe it. <laughs> Anyways, more on the story later. We are at the end of the list and we got us our rapid fire. Rapid fire again is range based where I'm gonna I've never done this before. I'm gonna click the fire button. Ooh. See that's what happens when you click the fire button people. You miss badly. Anyway, rapid fire is range based. The further away you are, the more damage you'll do up to a maximum of five. Generally, it may be better to use a closer, but it can do a bit of terrain damage. Shotgun, I'm going to say because, well, it's shotgun, close range. Bigger version of it is just a big pile of shots to go all sorts of ways. Burst fire is amazing at terrain digging, if you aim just below the person. Or if you hit the person. <laughs> but yeah, shotgun and burst fire are also, and gatling gun, while I'm at it, are, they do damage based on range as well. Gatling gun is one of the more destructive weapons in the game, and you'll see why now. So yeah, there goes half a mountain. Next one we got is Tunneler. I saw it. There we go. <clears throat> okay. More complaining on my part. Tunneler is an underground weapon where it goes underground. And sometimes one can actually also hit with these weapons. <laughs> but yeah. Tunneler does that. Also, you can hit them over ground, but it has to be a direct shot. Okay, this weapon is another one of my pet peeves. People, I beg of you, they're torpedoes. Just remember that. Torpedoes. For anyone who doesn't know, Torpedoes are generally used by ships, submarines, the likes, and fire under water. So they're supposed to go underground. I'm sick of people doing this. It's like, hey look, haha, <laughs> something might hit. Oh look, that one hit. And that one too. I did something right. <laughs> Whereas if you just came up to the person here... Aimed a little down like that. And then, boom! Way more damage. 
because I use torpedoes like they were torpedoes. Over to the tunnel strike. This is our second flare based weapon, but this time the shots come from. Guess. You guessed it. Down below. Because it's tunnel. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. <laughs> the Mega Tunneler. It's the same as Tunneler except Mega. And it does 60 and uh, yeah. Okay. What is next on the horizon? Get it? Because Horizon's the next weapon. Yeah. I deserve a slap for that one. Let's look at it. It's a grey one. There we go. I nearly went a mile by it. Okay, Horizon, you want to hit on the person. It does a pile of tens, and yeah. You generally get three to four. Yeah, there we go. Sweeper. I have a few things with this. One, if you hit on the enemy, it will do nothing. So do not do that. You need to hit on the same level as the enemy. And there you go. You'll see there's two things from Sweeper. Each side can only hit one enemy. So Sweeper can hit a maximum of two people. So if you're on that map where everyone's in the straight line and you use sweeper, you're only going to hit two people. Also, another thing to note, it does not hit teammates. So feel free to use it whenever you feel like it. PSS. <laughs> if you use sweeper and a teammate is in, on, behind, beside, touching an enemy, it will hit them because... The damage is kind of a slight area, I guess. So just be careful with that, really. Okay. Next we have our family of flares. If it'll... There we go. Something weird is happening there. Airstrike. You land. Okay. You want to land all of these flares on the person. Unlike that. <laughs> these do 20. I believe the helicopter strike does, in fact, do the same. Is it. Yeah. Yeah, 20s as well, but just a lot more. The AC 130 is a bigger airstrike and then artillery is an even bigger airstrike it has the amount of bullets of an airstrike and the range of a heli strike and it blows stuff up a lot that's why I like it Okay, the next one is Purdy because it's flower. I don't know why my voice just did that. I don't know why I did that with my voice even. But anyways, flower, you want somebody on a ledge like so. Then you aim slightly down the ledge a bit. And then all the flowery bits hit him. You want to do the exact same for bouquet. Where you go here, you do the do the do do do, and that hits them. Doing tens and twelves. Okay, the next one is possibly the most hated weapon. It gets so much abuse, and I can wholeheartedly agree with it. The weapon sucks. There's no other way to say it. It's just 
appalling. I feel like this was a troll on the devs part, but yes, we got fishies. If I didn't know any better, it was him trolling me, because, well, you see the name. I got at least 25 feckin' thingies a day of people saying, Hey, hey, cat, do you want fish? Or, hey, cat, do you like fish? And then they're like, blah, 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 blah. But, yeah. I will give them credit on one extent that if you get a good bunch up, it's not too bad. Let's see if I can get it here. Come on, goldies. There, that wasn't too bad, was it? 88 with goldfish. See, it's not as bad as everyone says. It is bad, but not as bad. Okay. We have the first of our special weapons. And I say special because it can hit anyone no matter what. Oh, Jesus, if only I could find it. I have listened to this song far too much. There we go. Wrong weapon. You, sir, are being used later. That's the one I want. That's the one uh, I want it. Uh, uh. Right. Quake. It does. Ten. Mega Quake. It does. Fifteen. But the special thing I was saying is if a person is. Doesn't matter where in the map the person is, it will hit them. If the person is in one of those round bumpers, it will hit them. If the person has used a shield, it will hit them. I can't really show it hitting person in the shield because you can't use a shield on this guy. Or get him to use the shield even, so yeah. That could be added in the future. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, dev. <laughs> okay. We have one of my top five favorite weapons now. And it is yellow. It is the one. The almighty. It is the boonana. And the boonana is down this way. I Oh wait, no, there's another line. Do I see banana? I don't see banana. Crap. Banana is down the other way. So yeah. I know I started a spiel about something earlier. Not a clue what it was. My bad. <laughs> Let's try find bananas. I haven't had a banana in ages. I actually wouldn't mind one right now, but there we go. Boo na 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 nas. Boo na na nas. Okay, boo na na. You're gonna want to shoot this like a normal shot, kind of. If you shoot this like a normal shot, the boonana will hit, but the skin shall not. The boonana shall hit, but the skin shall not. But, if you do the good old, hey look, that guy is there, I'm going to aim up at a very slight angle, and I have missed, I can already tell. But the banana and the skin will hit the same spot. Going to go this way a little. The banana split is the same, but it is two bananas. 
I love that squelchy sound it makes. And the last one is a bunch of bananas. A big bad bunch of bananas. It makes squelchy sounds too. But yeah, that is one of my favourite weapons. I mean, why wouldn't it be? The next one is... A weapon that I call Ruby. And why I call it Ruby is because... It's just nice to name your snake. Like, you may not think it, but if you give your snake a name... One time out of twenty, it is going to do better. That last minute where... All hope seems lost. If you think of it like a Pokemon, and you say, Ruby, I choose you, and you fire your snake or your python or your cobra across the arena, you're going to win. It doesn't matter if that person is 5 HP or 5 billion, you're going to win because you gave your snake a name. And no... Pointing it out now, not a sex joke. Just no. Anyone who thought of it, bold. One bronze star away from me. So Snake, you just shoot straight at the fella. You do the same with Python and Cobra. The only difference between these is they do bigger blast radius each level and they also last longer. Finish stronger. I'm going to stop quoting ads now. <laughs> but yeah, the downside about snakes is I don't think this is a real world problem, but they tend to fly a lot. It seems weird, I know, but yeah. You gotta watch out for your flying snakes. They can be anywhere. You're just walking along and <clears throat> snake on the head. Okay, we got the bounce blood. Double bounce blood. Triple bounce blood. Okay, my tip with these, especially for all the new people, please don't fire it at full power. I mean, for example, this guy. Full power, I do this. Oh, look at that. It somehow hit me. See, that is why you do not use full power. Whereas, if you use meow power, <laughs> I had to, I'm sorry. If you use a lowish amount of power, there you go. Bounces in or around that general area. The good thing about the bounce blows is you get more and you don't lose any damage. I don't want to go into that. <laughs> okay. Same with triple bounce blows. I think it's one less bounce, but I mean, come on, you've got an extra ball. Also, not a sex joke. <laughs> One hundred and forty! Okay! This is one of the most annoying weapons I've ever used. I hate it. I hate this one. I hate this one. I hate this one. And if I can find it, which is the next weapon, I will tell you exactly how much I hate it. Like... The only way I can explain it. Pick a food that you absolutely hate. Well, there you go. You now know exactly how much I hate it. <laughs> uh, I remember seeing it earlier. I think it was over... There we go. Okay, this weapon fires in a very straight line that isn't too straight. 
because there's a bit of give to it. But you just aim straight at the person. Well, this is a nightmare. Anyways, a tip for this. You can click this and drag around. You just aim at the person and you shoot. Then M9. Then Deagle. And yeah, that's them. <laughs> I personally think they were a horrible idea to add to the game because it is really rare that people are like I currently am with this AI tank. Okay, gonna do a few more weapons this video. Uh, let's see, do one, two, three more weapons. This is the first, Mr. Dead Riser and Dead Weight. Okay, Dead Weight. I'm gonna move him up here. You can shoot it anywhere. Well, not anywhere. Anywhere at all. As soon as it goes over the person, it's locked on per se. Doesn't matter if you do a tiny bit of power or a huge bit of power. It's going to hit that person. Dead Riser is the exact same except underground. Also, a note is that the weapon stops. Okay. On the cursor here, the weapon stops when the middle of the shot is here. Not over the tank. Here. So if there's a slight edge like this, the thingy is going to miss. I'll see if I can replicate it here actually. Okay, see the edges here, so I will use Dead Riser and in theory it'll miss. Never mind. <laughs> oh this game lives to prove me wrong. Okay, next one is going to be the builder. Builder is basically the same as Digger except it goes up rather than down. Uh, yeah, just really not much to say about this. They're a bugger to use in wind but it's grand. It does the same as Digger and Mega Digger as well. Okay. We have one more weapon, but I'm going to pose a question to you. With Digger, we have Digger, we have Mega Digger, and we have Excavation. If there was an Excavation type weapon for Builder, what would you call it? I've always wondered, and yeah. Leave that in the comments below, and... Just something fun to do. The last weapon for this video because it is already going on a lot longer than I thought it would. Although that is a combination of my amazingly crap laptop and just me blathering on. Static. The last weapon for this video. You hit a person. It does 25. Static link. You hit a person. It does 25. Static chain. You hit a person and it does... 25. See, people would be looking at this and like, what's the difference? Well, I can't show you in this, but the difference is static. It can hit two people. Like, it can hit that guy, and if there's a guy here, it go zap and hit two. Static Link can hit three people. And Static Chain can hit four people. I'm not sure if it can hit more or not, but four is... Uh, basically. I've never used it in an eight-person free-for-all, so... I'm going to say it's four is the limit, because it just makes sense. <laughs> but anyways... That is it for this video. I am going to upload these videos once a day for 
whatever amount of days it takes to get through all the weapons. So anyways, starting from tomorrow's video will be starting from Molehill. The most amazing of weapons. Heh. <laughs> anyways, guys, thank you for the support. Just stay awesome and stuffs. I will join this game, I guess. Goodbye, all, and have a lovely day.